Hello, I got an idea seeing this. Now, I don't like sprinkles and I don't like radioactive looking stuff, stuff that's pink or green or something like that, but let's see what we can do. So, we're going to start with some SVG dimensions, um, some random value there, and I want the zero, 00 point right in the middle, so this means that the coordinates of the top left corner are going to be um, half, minus half this SVG dimension. So now let's create the SVG, let's set the view box, uh, and this is going to be an array where we put the coordinates of the top left and then the dimensions. And now we join this array and we have our SVG element. Now we're going to um, have the outer radius of the donut. Um, so um, outer radius and this is going to be something like 0.35 of uh, the SVG dimension. So let's see how that looks. Circle, something like this. Okay, uh, now also uh, something else. Um, here on the SVG, we're going to uh, set a stroke width. Um, and let's also do an inner radius for the hole in the donut. So let's say it's going to be about a quarter um, of the outer radius. And then we're going to have the difference. Um, this is going to be the outer one minus the inner one. So here the stroke width is going to be this uh, difference. Now for the whole SVG, we're going to set uh, fill none. Um, and now in particular, let's make this uh, we're going to set stroke something like this. Uh, and we're going to do pretty much the same uh, for the chocolate. So um, here we're going to um, add a chocolate. Um, but uh, we're going to uh, do half the circumference. So uh, half. And this is going to be pi times um, Actually, we're going to need to compute a mid radius. So this mid radius is the arithmetic mean between the two, between the outer and the inner. So um, here we're going to have the mid radius and we're going to round this because uh, there is no point. Okay, um, and now here I'm going to have stroke dash array and this is going to be equal to that half circumference and I'm going to do something similar okay something's not okay there no wonder. Oh, okay. I just uh, got it now. Oh, so it's not, it's going to be the outer. I'm going to use the outer one. Okay. Uh, and I'm also going to do a stroke dash offset so that I move it up. Stroke dash offset. Um, and a few more things I'm going to do here. Stroke line cap round and also line join round. Okay, um, and you may not see the use for the line join join for now, but uh, this is going to be the line, the caramel strip width, and let's say it's going to be um, 
0.1 of the difference, something like this should work. Um, and now I'm going to have um, the points. This is going to be initially an empty array of points. And let's say I'm going to have a number of, I don't know, 12, something like that. Um, let's also compute a base angle. Something like this. Now let's uh, have a loop here. So um, 4. So uh, let's compute a current angle. This one is going to be i times the base angle minus 90 degrees, which is half of pi. Um, and here we're going to want to switch the sign. Um, so switch the sign for every one of them. Okay, so this is going to give me the current angle and then the x and y coordinates. So these are going to be uh, something uh, slightly smaller. So um, I might use something bigger, but um, current angle and the same for the y coordinate. So um, y except I'm going to be using sine. Okay. And finally, here I'm going to have a path and the D attribute is going to use uh, this points array. So, um, So the caramel Okay, uh, and for this I'm going to want to have a stroke with So this is going to be the caramel line with something like this. Okay, that's mm, actually. Okay, this looks better, and here I'm going to start from 1, so that everything looks better. Okay, and uh, this is also going to be rounded. Okay, and I'm going to want to have a clip path here. Uh, no, not clip path, a mask. So um, I'm going to do something like this. Um, and this is going to be film.
Okay, now I have that mask there. That's good. Okay, now let's add a few more things here. So, um, okay, um, Okay, so um, let's um, do something else here. Um, bring in a bit of layout. Okay. Okay, something like that. Uh, here, also, I'm going to do font. King. Something like this, um, and now that I've done this, let's see, I'm going to use this one, I think I can do it bigger. Um, Okay, um, and um, And also give it a different font. Um, let's see. Let's 
So let's do this. So, um, yeah, this is, um, pretty much it for the day. I think I can... Let's see if I can increase this. Yeah, this is, um, better. Mm -hmm. this and uh, I think it looks great so I'm just going to uh, leave it like this so um yeah this is it for today I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have and you want me to be able to do more stuff in the future please consider supporting my work in one of the ways explained in the description with a donation by getting me something off my Amazon wish list or at least by sharing this to show the world what can be done on the web these days in any event thanks for watching